Hello friends, it's Armstrong here from Adai Miniatures and today I'm gonna be converting this little lovely Honda CRX yeah? and you know I'm a genius I was reading the writing upside down so great job yeah I love the look of this car and I'm a bit afraid of uh, doing too much to it yeah so I gotta probably dial down with the madness and you know just do very simplistic you know like some armoring I don't even know whether they're gonna be adding um, weaponry to it I'm not sure we will see yeah this is I remember that this was one of the favorite cars in the box for me yeah so I really want to do it justice I ain't gonna be cutting anything out of it because whew, all of the saw work is just too much for me and I don't even see you know how you can this is already a very weirdly looking front of the car and you know messing with this would be a little bit harsh and hard and I don't really want to do that. <laughs> yeah, let's just get on the table and start building something. So here we have it, my little Fonda, Fonda, Honda CRX. So what magic do I want to do to it? This is hard. This is hard because I like this car too much. Yeah, this is one of those little ones that I think you know I want to convert, and then I think I don't want to convert because I gotta screw it up. Uh, and you know, it's if I gonna go to this, you know, oh, this is too nice for me to screw up, I gonna go into this limbo where they want to do it, I don't want to do it. I am already in that limbo, I have to admit. So, yeah, mm, what I gonna do. Hmm. <coughs> I'm gonna make it into one of those magnet gun vehicles. Yeah, I have those magnets, why not use one? Yeah, they are fun, you know. I just think that it would be cool mechanic if you can, you know, like rip out the weapons from your enemies on the battlefield. Yeah, but as well, I want him to be fast. So, uh, you know me, I keep on collecting those super glue caps. Yeah. And they gonna probably fit very nicely just over the wheel wells here. Yeah, so jet engines, huge magnet turret on the roof. Yeah, and do I want anything else on it? Hmm. Well, I have a weapon. I have the speedy teenies. I definitely gonna add some armor. So let's just get to it. So, yeah. Whoa. Okay, Butterfingers, awesome. This is a great step to a build, you know? So let's just get, you know, to... Uh, damaging this poor car. And, you know, I'm really, really sorry. You are one of my favorite children, you know, before that. Uh, I know we shouldn't be favorizing, you know, our kids, but this one is just so hard. And yeah, mm. this is better. Okay, what are you gonna do about the front window? Nothing, I'm gonna paint it. Back window, I'm gonna cover it with what? <laughs> I was so sure that I'm prepared for this build, you know? Oh, this happened to me all the time. I'm very, I'm convincing myself that I'm ready for something, and then it is like, nope. You're not ready. No, that's too big. I want to add a fuel tank onto the back window. Yeah, just have one. And this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I can see it coming together. So I'll just grab some super glue and send, start adding those jet engines to the wheel wells. Oh, come on, be nice to me, stick. No, it hates me. All right. 
it took much longer than I was expecting, you know. It was very riveting, I guess. Not really. Uh, but yeah, for some reason, you know, it's just... Yeah, I sanded it a little bit, but I guess it didn't go as planned. Uh, you know, not everything was nicely sanded, but yeah. Like, I did use spikes on everything pretty much in this week, so I think maybe avoiding them on this one is gonna be a good choice. And I didn't use any giant turrets, so yeah. And I'm sorry that I'm kneeling, leaning so heavily into 3D printed pieces. Yeah, it just really helps me to speed up the build process. And I'm really thinking that it might need something else. Oh, but whoa. <sighs> no, you are gonna start. Maybe. Yeah, uh, this is this is great. You know, decision making process. Yes, no, maybe. I will think about it later. No, I know what I'm gonna do. Just come on, break, break. I have these crappy wheels that come from the you know, van that I did a couple of days ago. They were really bad, but hmm, what if I just put them in here as kind of rams? Not rams, but uh, cushions? Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing this time around. I'm sorry. I just have a feeling that the front isn't done and when you have this kind of feeling you just have to act on it or ignore it and I decided to act so sorry about that so yep one in here come on just stick yeah be nice okay I think that I need to cut out a little bit more of this that was probably a wrong decision if I know myself, but yeah. Okay, and now the other side. Come on, stick as well. All right. It's weird. It looks weird, yeah. Uh, but I'm gonna keep it. So this is the end of the conversion process. Let's just get it, you know, black bumped and decide about three random colors. Oh my god, this is so ridiculous. The colors this week, you know, really, <laughs> I really struggle with that. But it's a fun exercise, you know, something different to do. So, yeah, let's just, you know, have a switch and have it painted black. And here we are. Yeah, he got painted not very well. You can still see a lot of white paint but the choice of colors oh my god i just finished painting the previous car yeah because i just decided to paint them in one go pretty much but the choice of color for this one is dwarf bronze thin bits and midnight blue so i think like that midnight blue for the windows and dwarf bronze and thin bits for the rest of the car so let's say 10 bits for the bodywork and dwarf bronze for the weapons and jet engines. So let's get to vigorously shake this paint. Oh my goodness. And yeah, I have my little piece of plastic art and I don't know that I painted them in order, you know how I was planning. Oh my goodness, this is very watery, not nice. Uh, but this is for the weapons, I think. So, yeah. And tin bits. Please be nicer. Yes, much nicer. Awesome. <sighs> yeah. I am excited about this. <laughs> this is going to be weird. Yeah. So, yeah. This is very heavy. 
that I like, you know, I'm, I was already saying in a, one of the previous videos or, you know, I, I really don't know how they're gonna come in order. I'm gonna be editing them tomorrow. So then I'm gonna know exactly, but I was saying in one of the previous videos that I recorded that I really like a steampunk aesthetic and all of that, you know, little like bronze and copper and brass colors, they are really going into the steampunk aesthetic. So yeah, I really like those. Okay, that was the very quick paint job. I ain't gonna be doing anything else about it. It's good. Yeah, and now let's go into the weaponry. And I'm not happy with this paint. <clears throat> okay, it's gonna be bzzz now. Because this paint doesn't want to... For some reason... Just sound like it's solidified inside. It's a weird sound. Yep. Yes, finally. Some decent paint. A little bit better than the previous batch. But we only need it for dry brushing. Yeah, so. There we go. It's gonna be a very dark build. And I don't have a oxide in this color palette, which is a weird thing, you know? Like I never really used oxide much. I know that I have that paint, but I didn't pick it randomly. It would be too, <laughs> I would say it would be too convenient if the color fell into the color palette by accident, yeah? So, you know, I'm gonna leave it as it is. I know that I have green somewhere here. Yeah, I did, one day. So, no, I ain't gonna be doing oxi oxidation on that, yeah? It's just the lack of the draw, the paint decided otherwise. Yeah? So, I'm leaving the wheels as they are black because rubber is usually black unless it's somehow painted and now the window midnight blue yeah so i like how the at least you know the window decided to be in the nice color that it should be oh and my phone is dying again but I'm almost done, it should last. Yeah, so let's just get this. Yeah, it ain't gonna be pretty, it ain't gonna be perfect, it's gonna be just fine. Yeah. And the back windows, just a little bit smidge of the blue. No need to thread to fret. Mm. And now, of course, uh, weathering. Because this one just thinking about this there's this is brass it ain't gonna be rusted yeah so let's just throw this weird mix of brown and elf flesh yeah on this just give it a little bit of dirt and I need to mask the fact that the paint was stripped from here so yeah, there is a dirt on the jet engine. Ah, who knew? Who knew? Okay, and now of course the red, I need it for the inside of the jet engine. Yeah, I'm sorry that I'm rushing right now, but like I said, my phone is dying. So yeah, this is it. This is done, yeah. If you like this video, if you like this bit, please rate, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends, family, and whoever else is willing to watch it. Yeah, I really appreciate every single one of you. And you know, like I said, this week message is to be kind to each other, and you know, to say I love you to your 
family, especially your parents, they... Uh, it's hard to say, but you know, I realize the fragility of the life at some stage and, you know, I'm a little bit afraid of, you know, losing my ones. So, just tell them that you love them, yeah? It's sometimes hard, it's sometimes embarrassing, yeah? But we shouldn't be afraid of our feelings. So everybody have a lovely day and take care. And of course, stay for the glamour shots of this car because he needs to dry and I'm gonna do some nice glamour shots. See you in the next video, bye!